guys so i'm back again man. back again with another video i think i wanted to do a lot of people have been asking me about this video people are dming me and all of that <laughs> i'm just kidding man i only have like five subscribers man nobody asked for this but i felt like doing this stuff so uh, i wanted to show you guys this is a very simple way to do a double exposure uh Artwork. Very simple. It wouldn't take you much of your time. So this is the actual, the actual artwork that I did a few weeks back that I wanted to show you guys. So let me, let's start everything up fresh. Let me just close this stuff. Yeah, so I go here. I go to new. Every artwork that I start, I create a new artboard. I make sure the artboard is clicked. Yeah, in case I want to do another one. So all my artworks, 15 by 15 inches. The pixel equivalent is actually 1080p by 1080p, which is 1K. If you want to increase it, you can increase it. But I want to do it in 1K. I do my artworks mostly in 3, uh, 3K or 4K and above. But this is 1K. I want to do this very fast. So let's create. So we we'll create a new artboard. From here, I just go to uh, New Guide Layout. View New Guide Layout. I have my columns too. I have my rows too. If you change, you can see how it works. You get me? You get a lot. So we just do it 2-2. Two, two. It creates the guys for me. Very simple. Then we move forward. So the next thing I usually do is I go and create a solid color. So you can use this where you click here, create a solid color. Here you can create all, it fills the artboard perfectly. So I don't have to create the shape and do all of that. So it just fills everything up. So I choose the white color, I have my background ready and everything. Also let's bring in the pictures. I think I have my images here, so yeah. So this is the image that I saw. I saw this beautiful lady, it was very nice. And I thought of doing this, uh, it just came, the idea just came to me. So I had this picture, very, very nice, very high quality too. I mean, you know what they say. The higher the quality of your image, the higher the quality of your artwork. So every image that you use has to be very high quality. All right, so let me just enlarge. So you enlarge this part, you bring it down a bit to fill uh, to fill the artboard. Yeah, so I think the yeah, here, right here is nice. Yeah, so those with newer versions of Photoshop, we are cutting out the background from this side. So those with newer versions of Photoshop, We'll find it very simple to do it, but those with the older version might find it difficult a bit. All right, so this is actually a smart object. So let me go. So you go here, you rasterize the layer right from here. Then you can come to properties. I have my properties here. So in case you don't have your properties, you can go to window, then you select properties from this button. This properties. So you have your properties. You scroll down. As you can see here, there's quick action here. Remove background. So you can just click on it, the AI will do its thing. So it will take quite a time. I think I'll, I'll just fast forward through this part. So, okay, did it very fast. All right, so I have my background cut out. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So the background is already gone. So as you can see, I've isolated the, the, the lady itself. So I have my background already cut out. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah. So next thing we have to do is bring in an image. So I saw another image. This, this is a very beautiful image that I saw. Uh, I think yeah, somebody created that. I didn't create this. Somebody created it. Very nice. The reflection of the city. So very nice. So I thought of okay, why not? So let's bring this image in. Place it right here. And you can fit it. Make it fill. Yeah, all. Other parts. So, uh, you can reduce opacity just to just to look at how it's going to be like. So as you can see, this is how it's going to fit into the image. Yeah. So the next thing you do. You right click on the image then you create a clipping mask so that it clips just to the isolated image it doesn't fill the background yet so all the parts that are outside where the lady's picture isn't will not show so let me clip it to show you how it looks like there you go so you've clipped it into the image that so filled all the image and then the next thing you would do uh you go to your blending modes so right here you see no more here if you have photoshop there's a blending mode right above the layers you see normal then you just click on it there are a couple of options here so you select lighter color right here as you can see 90 percent of the artwork is done do you get me but there are a few touches that if you want to touch it reveal a bit of her face because she's very beautiful I mean, don't get any ideas man. she's very you get the idea yeah she's a pretty lady so yeah so you, you just create a new layer mask on the city the city image not on the lady the lady already has a layer mask created. So you create one here, then you pick your brush, your brush two, your brush two is here. Then you right click on any part of the 
at work any part it will this window will pop up so you make sure your your hardness is 10 to 0 then you have your size to about 600 then you go up here your opacity to about 34 or 40 your flow down to 47 just below a little maybe 50 50 will do yeah and you make sure your color here on the right side is black the for foreground uh, the foreground color is black do you get me because you are going the layer marks you are going to paint out the parts that we don't like so the black is going to remove the foreground color and this black is going to remove all the parts that you don't like in the artwork yeah so let's just start painting a bit so as you can see it's revealing a bit of her face yeah very dark beautiful cheeks <laughs> so man my bad no. Forgive me, man. All right, so let's paint a bit. I think the bottom part will be a bit of her neck. Yeah, I think in most of the artwork. Yeah, so basically, as I said, very simple, already done. Less than five minutes, yeah, done. And it's very beautiful, too. You can use other images as well if, if you want You want to try other images. You can insert in other images. It will look beautiful. Let me show you. I think I had, initially, I, I, I saw an image that I wanted to use, but it didn't feel right for me. So let me just let me just bring that one to in here. I think I had this image I wanted to use, but it just didn't feel right. So yeah, so you can use this one as well. This is also another way. Let me show you. Let me clip it right here. Clip the max. And this is how it looks. It looks beautiful. It looks beautiful as well. So you can go to lighter color. As you can see, then you paint out the parts that you don't like to reveal their face. That's also another way that you can do it. So it works with so many images. You just have to get the the perfect image for you. This this city image look perfect for me, and it works fine for me. That's why I used it. But you can use an image that looks perfect for you. So basically, that's how that's how that's how you do it. Yeah, the simplest way to finish it up. But if you want to add extra stuff, well, I think the original artwork, I added a, a couple of things or two. I think the background had a bit of noise in the background as well. If you want to add noise, you can go to filter, noise, then you go to add noise. Then you just convert to a smart object. Then you can add your noise. Just a little bit of noise in the background. Yeah, it makes it, it, makes it look nice. I think you can you can do black and white if if let me let me show you how the black and white also works as well. You can go to filter, filter right here. Uh hey, sorry, you go here, uh then you select your black and white on top of the layer. Yes, that, that's how you are. This is also another way. It, it gives it I mean yeah, like some touch to it. It has some touch to it. Yeah, yeah. So the black and white also looks nice. But I wanted the original colours because it looked nice for me. Yeah. So basically, yeah, that's it. That's the most part of the video. So please uh, do want to subscribe, you know, like, comment, all the good stuff. You know, I'm, I'm a small channel now, so in case you didn't understand anything, you can comment and I'll, I'll, man, I'll be glad, man. Like, I'll help you out. Because I'm like, I have like five subscribers, so if you comment, like, I'm all yours, man. I'm all yours. I'll just, I'll just reply right away. Yeah. So yeah, so stay tuned. I'm, I'm going to be doing a lot of stuff, so just stay tuned, stay tuned. Uh, my channel subscribe please do subscribe hit the notification bell man because the tutorials will be coming in a lot of texts that i've done in the past you can check them out they are on ig id guitar consult the link is in the description you can check them out so you can check it out like i have a lot of artworks that i'll be doing tutorials on it i'll be showing you a little bit of in and there tricks just to so that you can use it to improve yourself because i understand me i started the same way on youtube as well learning from people like just picking up on a few things or two and um yeah so uh subscribe like comment hit the notification bell you know all that good stuff see you next time bye